So here is our meal plan that I have planned out for this week. What I have planned for March the 19th through March the 25th, Monday, baby back ribs, mushroom brown rice pilaf, and russet red mashed potatoes. And then Tuesday, we will be having the chicken soft tacos. On the side, I'm gonna make some garlic broccoli. I'll make some homemade guacamole and the pica de gallo, or as I usually call it, pica de gallo. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna have my chicken, my shredded chicken, I'm just gonna have it on a plate with the garlic broccoli and then I'll have just a uh, wee bit of the guacamole. Wednesday, the pasta vajoli, and I'm gonna make some bread. Um, they come, I think, five or six frozen bread um, in a bag and you can get it over in the frozen section of Walmart and you just let it rise uh, a couple few hours or so in a uh, bread loaf pan and I'm just going to be making a loaf of that bread so we will be having the bread with that meal Wednesday evening. And then Thursday, I have the lemon garlic chicken potato salad. And I know the majority of everyone calls them deviled eggs. I have this thing about calling them dressed eggs. And then Friday, beef stew and more of that bread that I will be uh, putting in the oven to bake. And then Saturday, I have chicken tortilla soup and then some uh, corn saute on this side. And then Sunday I have leftovers. And I'm sure we will have plenty of leftovers. And I didn't leave any room to order pizza, so we will see if any of the meals um, feed just the two of us and there are no leftovers and we end up ordering pizza, or if this will be enough for us to not even want or have a desire to order pizza for the week. It feels absolutely fantastic to be, out, be back outdoors. I was able to get uh, the upper and the lower patios completely pressure sprayed and washed down. And these two planners here, this is my first planner, the black one back in the back with the pineapples. That was my first planner. And this is my newest planner. And I get uh, the questions often. I'm seeing um, others asking me where I had gotten the meal planner. These meal planners are from Carrie L and you can find these planners through CarrieL.com. Um, I absolutely love these meal planners. And just as a reminder, once we hit 1000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway for one full size meal planner as well as another mini meal planner. I've already done one giveaway for a mini meal planner. So if you're interested, uh, maybe keep an eye out uh, for that giveaway to open once we hit 1,000 subscribers. Hey y'all and welcome. Welcome back to Lisa's Cottage and welcome to a grocery haul that we're getting back into the swing of our normal somewhat grocery hauls and if we think this one's big, we need to remember what it looks like when our four grandies are coming in for a week or a week plus, and maybe sometimes with their mommy that's cooking three meals a day um, for four, five, for seven people. So let's take a look at what this week's a grocery haul looks like. And then you have already seen my meal plan for the week. So, uh, the items I go over here today, you'll see that's what's going to be used in those recipes that I will be preparing this week. So let's take a look at what we have so I can get this stuff back in the freezer and into the refrigerator. We have two of the 12 pack Diet Crush Orange. Those are mine. Um, of course he can have what he wants out of that's my preferred soda and then we have the diet a and w root beer i'm assuming that being that his is not in the cans they must have been out of them and substituted them for bottles and you can see somebody has already gotten one and then we have a a minute made lemonade two liters let's move on over here to the frozen foods we have six I guess we call them tubs of the sugar-free Cool Whip. 
I think someone else has started enjoying the sugar-free Cool Whip uh, along with myself. And look, we have different halo tops this week. I was getting just a wee bit burnout on the red velvet cake. So I just did a little bit of this and a little bit of that and give them a try and see if I, if they are okay, like, love, and must get again. We have the candy bar. And then we have the pancakes and waffle. We have the chocolate covered banana. I love anything banana. And then we have the black cherry. I'm thinking I tried the black cherry before, or maybe I thought about it. We shall see. And then we have some of the frozen whole kernel corn, some home style vanilla ice cream. And then we have the uh, value pack of the white bread it's frozen you set it out and let it rise and then you bake that in the oven and let's move on over here to our meat and we have beef stew meat they're already cubed ground beef five pounds of ground beef and then we have some baby back ribs and then we have a boneless skinless chicken breast we have the fully cooked original pork sausage patties. And then we have a frozen pack of the chicken breast tenderloins. So that is our frozen for the week. And let's just keep moving. Broccoli, white mushroom sliced, some pico, celery, bag of carrots, green onions, just one container of the Oikis plain yogurt. I'm using that in a recipe as well as I'm using the hummus in a recipe, not the pretzels on top, but I just needed that amount of the hummus to put in the recipe, so that's what we ordered. Fresh chives, fresh dill, fresh thyme, some of the fully cooked bacon, 18 eggs, the two pack of the two pound butter, some rich and creamy heavy whipping cream buttermilk and a half a gallon of two percent milk here we go and that's our refrigerated items for this week and of course someone needed their um polarized extra polarized chewing gum and i think we tried to order these a week or two ago and they were out of them they substituted them for something else easter candy is my all-time favorite candy of the entire year out of Christmas candy, Valentine's. This is my um, favorite time of year for the candies. So we have two of the packs of the Sweet Tarts, Chicks, Ducks, and Bunnies. One is his and one is mine. We have a yellow cake mix, that's for a recipe. Two cans of the black olives. We have some bay leaves, a ground cinnamon down there. A can of crushed tomatoes, red, kidney beans and then we have some white kidney beans some pieces and stems mushrooms uh, some jello for a can I have plenty of the sugar-free jello and then some peach slices that's going to be for a dessert some tortillas brown rice elbow macaroni chicken broth beef broth looking like I have three boxes of the 18 single serve cups of the vanilla cappuccino yeah, bag of onions, baby Dutch yellow potatoes, one lemon. So we have our Worcestershire, Worcestershire, how do you say it? Uh, Worcestershire, one, Worcestershire, two. And then lemon juice, that also had an expiration date on it. When I was cleaning the refrigerator out last week that I just went ahead and threw it in the garbage. There, the Macintosh apples in there, those are cans he loves Macintosh apples. Granny Smith, my all-time favorite. Garlic, avocados to make some homemade guacamole this week. Looks like just three pears. A red onion, bananas, and I think that's it for this area. Now moving on to the non-refrigerated, non-food items. And two totes to put away my Valentine's decor as well as the spring decor of the items that I had used in those two uh, collabs that I had done with other YouTubers here. And then once I get the stuff packed in there, I will just put the lid on it and I'll print out a label, one for Valentine's decor and then one for spring decor. And then I can put those away. And 
somebody needs some paper towels, tissues. These are usually a given that will be in our grocery hauls. Body lotion. I love this body lotion and I think it was less than a dollar, 97, 98 cents. So I just went ahead and ordered four. And then some skincare repair body lotion. Ken likes to use this on his hands. And then sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. You have to add more fiber into your diet. So that's this week's grocery haul. And most yeah. certainly back in the rhythm, the swing of cooking. Lisa's kitchen is officially open full time. This is a wrap to this week's Walmart grocery haul. Um, I got some putting away to do, and this is where I'm going to say, until we meet again, you all take good care and bye-bye. What about that bowl of fruit? Oh, yum, yum. Didn't need more grapefruits, I still had three. I like to eat about a grapefruit a day, but I have to make sure I'm not taking any medications a couple to few hours in between eating those. And I take the majority of my meds first thing in the morning and then my nightly meds before bed. And a few pears, a lemon, some Granny Smith, some Macintosh, Ken likes the Macintosh, I like the Granny Smith. We had two bananas left, a fresh batch of bananas, a good grinning bananas, and it was like about four or five avocados. And sometimes I think a bowl of fruit is almost just as attractive as a bunch of flowers and a pretty vase. But as you all have seen before, we will go through some fruit. And there's still strawberries out in the fridge that I need to go ahead and wash as well as there's some grapes. So I need to get all that washed up and put in bowls. And when I wash that stuff up and put them in bowls, I leave them with an open lid and just put it out in the outdoor overflow refrigerator. And we're, when we are feeling snacky, if they're already prepared, we just grab the bowl and go, go to snacking. <laughs>